the gas price debacle debate back and forth keeps happening over at Fox. And um, they finally have one voice that's pointing out how insane it is that their colleagues keep supporting these oil companies. Watch, who is this? <laughs> I, I don't care if you blame Putin, uh, the oil companies, or Joe Biden. What I really don't like is the partisan divide. And I've never particularly heard oil fat cats who are reaping record profits being their virtue extolled quite as eloquently <laughs> as it has been here. I think the notion that we want, that the Democrats want intentionally high oil prices to make the country go green is preposterous. They've said it. They it said is, it. it yeah, they did say it. They've said it. Well, yeah. I, I, it is preposterous. Believe your ears. I believe that the oil companies are making record profits. Look to where the follow the money. Yeah, follow it all the way to Iran and Russia and maybe Venezuela. That's the problem. And Park Avenue and Fifth Avenue and Wall Street. All right. Oh, yeah. uh it's weird. It's like uh, Democrats are working with oil companies to make sure they make more money so we can somehow get off of the oil and then go to green energy because they just say that. Because that's a good way to get there. That would make a lot of sense, huh? Because then everybody driving their huge trucks with tons of uh, gas emissions, they'll be like, you know what? The Democrats are right. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, Geraldo has. Finally found a way to wiggle his way in the middle of these conversations and say, you guys are crazy. Why are you supporting oil companies to disagree? What's going on? Well, maybe he saw this particular exchange with Senator Cortez Mazzo, who was also talking to a Shell executive and asked her directly, what's with those profits, man? Watch. An estimated $3.1 billion in taxpayer subsidies each year. In recent days, major oil companies in the United States have said that they would rather use their earnings from higher prices to boost payouts to shareholders and expand their operations slowly rather than rush to drill new or develop existing wells. So Ms. Hershes, my question to you is, can you explain at a time like this why your company would be prioritizing payouts to shareholders rather than working to increase our oil supply? Would your company be willing to forego paying out dividends to pass along that relief to consumers who are seeing high prices in my state and across the country. Yeah, so the, the, the prices are something that we do not control. I think that you said that yourself. The, the way in which we prioritize- So you would not be willing to pay, pass off your dividends to, to actually to consumers who are hurting right now? We are committed to continue to invest and make sure that our production does not decline. All right, let, let me, I've only got so much time. So uh, let me move on here because I didn't get an answer to my question. I think that answer was no. We're gonna keep that money and you guys are gonna have to fight over this and blame other folks. Leave me out of this, please, uh, electrons. <laughs> By the way, uh, really fast, this headline here, this exclusive talking about how oil companies profits have soared, in case you're wondering if this is really true, soared to $174 billion this year as US gas prices also rose. So as, we can, as Fox and friends and everyone else continues to support the gas prices and the oil companies and say that it's someone else's fault and sure, other factors make those things happen. But we're definitely not talking about who's hoarding all of that extra cash. Um, really fast, because uh, yeah, first off, your thoughts on this back and forth about who's really at fault. And also Geraldo's pushback a little bit on this, because I think it may have triggered one more person to see a little bit of the light. Yeah, it's funny how Geraldo Rivera of all people is the guy who's going to speak truth to power on this entire issue about oil and where it's coming from and where it's not coming from. Uh, the problem that I have with most coverage of stories like this one is that there's always this idea that we can blame it on one specific thing or one specific person, right? Like even with the economy in general, as if it isn't cyclical, we know that it is, right? We know that these things come in waves. That's how it's kind of supposed to work, right? The problem is like what Geraldo of all people was talking about is that it's not laissez-faire economics all the time because you have people manipulating it behind the scenes, sometimes not even very behind the scenes. Like a lot of this is very public information that we can have access to if we look for it. So him bringing up the corporations and the senator bringing up the dividends and things like that, that's all very pertinent and relevant information. And it's part of the story of why gas prices are high right now. And also the gas prices that we're experiencing now, 
we're fairly predictable. And like, I feel like anyone who has an understanding of what's going on around the world could have told you that this was going to happen. So it's a matter of managing it. And it's a matter of lessening the burden as much as we can. And these oil companies are making that very difficult to do. Yeah, I mean, everyone's playing a part. If we're all being patriotic and want to stop the, uh, the flow of oil or the flow of money going to people like Putin, then maybe mm -hmm. we should all be honest about it. But it's hard to get that answer when people are getting pieces of each part of this information.